This is not for resale. Please don't buy it. Wait a minute. What? I bought it. Whoops. Hey guys, it's Matt here, and we're doing a new show called Not For Resale. As you can tell by the interesting opening that we just had, and of course if you're watching this on YouTube, the title of the video up above me. So yes, yeah, so we're doing a show called Not For Resale. The game that we're playing on the show today is... Star Fox 64 3G. Now this is a cool thing that I found online. Uh, I heard that because it's obviously a not for resale game, it's not going to have the whole game on it, but let's see what little differences and fun, interesting things will actually be on the cartridge and how far they'll let us play. Now, just full disclosure, I have not played the full game myself, but I have seen how it's supposed to look online, so uh, we can kind of match up the differences. If there's any differences that you guys notice, uh, please, if, you, you know, if you're watching the YouTube, comment below and talk to us about what little differences that you guys notice, things that didn't make it into the retail game. So I assume the only difference between this and the retail game Minus it just being shortened, uh, I assume this game, it's not technically a prototype, remember that everybody, but this game, uh, I assume this is the one that would be played at, you know, Game Stops or Toys R Us's and stuff like that. So this is not technically a prototype for anyone that's thinking like, oh, it's, it's different and it's shiny. So it's cool, uh, hard to find online, although cheaper than actually getting the official game in box, which is interesting. But uh, yeah, I was able to find this little baby and uh, yeah, let's test it out and see what's going on with Star Fox 64 3 not for resale. Alright guys, so I'm going to put the game in. And the reason why I started without the game in is because I noticed that it actually ends up loading the game if I just start it up normally. So I got to just kind of... plug this baby in while the system is on. Ooh! Well that's loud. Okay, so it shows that it's the demo, which it shows that it's the demo when I start the game as well. But the reason why I'm kind of, I'm like a little skittish is because when I turned the system on, it just started the game up automatically, which I don't believe it does for any of my other games. I'm pretty sure X and Omega Ruby don't do that. Ooh, there we are, demo. I think I need my glasses. Let me just... Star Fox on. What what's what is it on? Oh, that's the system that I'm playing. This one right here, right now, with all of you. I don't have a stylus. Oh God. Ah, I gotta get the stylus. I, I dropped it. I'm not disheveled, you're disheveled. Slippy Toad. I also feel awkward because I'm not doing voiceover work. Peppy Hair. Falco Lombardi. Do you play football, Falco? Fox McCloud, yeah. All right, we're getting foxy with this McCloud. That's, what? What am I doing? I don't know what's going on here. Um, come on now, come on. All range fighter R wing. What? All right, that wasn't meant to be sarcastic. This is actually really cool. And um, I wish I could say that I played the original on the N sixty four. Don't kill me. I don't. I don't own a lot of N sixty four games, and I've never really played much Star Fox. But I've always wanted to. I wanted to play the one on the GameCube a lot. Ooh, hello. Okay. I just yeah. I could press start, but I have a stylus now, so you know, just gotta press press with the stylus. All right, so we this demo version features gyro controls and two missions from the Nintendo 3DS mode. Oh, the, the retail version. All right, gyro mode. Does that mean that, like I I twist, or does that mean that I tap tap touchscreen to adjust control settings? Try piloting the R wing on the 3D screen to test your controls before confirming. All right. I'm, I'm doing it everybody, I'm doing it. I don't know, ooh, hello, I will shoot you. I will shoot right, it says it right on here. Uh, X to boost, okay, Y to bomb. My god, I'm a monster. V to break, okay. 
And it's type A. I'm, I'm okay with type A. Yeah, what's type B? No, 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 I, I like type A. Okay, so let's see what's... In the center of the S mode, gyro controls allow you to steer the R-Wing by moving... I have a capture card. Oh god, I don't want to break it. This is, this is not WarioWare. Hold the system in a neutral position, as shown in the image above. Uh, move the system as shown to steer it. Oh god, no! Yes! I, I, oh god. What the, no! They did not, Nintendo did not expect this, and frankly, why would they? This is such a cool concept, but I can't do it on this. Avoid excessive movement of the cord connecting to the Nintendo the system to display unit. Oh, oh, they, th okay, right, because they think this is a demo, this is in stores, okay. I was so nervous, I was like, does, does Nintendo know that I have a capture card? What? Who? Who is doing this investigative work through a demo? Is it, should I have disconnected it from my Wi-Fi? I, Corneria. Or Ficina, I, ooh, I didn't realize. Um, whoops. I was trying to just see any other detail. Okay, Andrew Starwolf, all right. Split up and take it to him. Yeah, take it to him. That's what we do here. Because we're Star Fox. Oh god, I almost hit that. So I can, ouch. Okay, it doesn't actually affect the the capture card too much if I just move things up and down. I would prefer not to do that though. Oh. Oh, so this is a bit like, um, oh god, Rogue, no, not Rogue Squadron. One of those uh, Star Wars games, and I don't want to say Battlefront even though we played it on the show, but it was a different one. Yeah. As if this didn't start that in video games. Uh, yes, yeah, Slippy, they're not. They are. They're getting away that easy. Oh god. Mm. Yeah, Peppy, you did it. I'm clearly not. Yeah. Oh god, I'm shooting my friends. I just shot my friends. I'm sorry that I went to the dark side? Question mark? Should I shoot the base? Is that what I should do? Oh, never mind. I'm doing so well. <laughs> That's a strange voice for, for your face. You should be a lot more upset, Star Fox. He's just like, oh man, that guy again? It's like, yeah, dude, you're mortal enemy. Oh, damn. Was that an at, -AT? Am I dead? Okay. That was bad. I'm really bad at this. Ouch. Oh, thank you. None of us are. Oh, I'm sorry, Peppy. I just, I don't know what I'm doing. What is this? Ouch. No buen ouch.
Um. Oh God, I'm gonna die here. I, 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 I I'm going to die here. Okay, listen. This is very hard. Did we die? I, I think it is. Does look like you won today. No, it wasn't. Don't do that to me. They did. Don't, don't patronize me. Your ship's in the docking bay. I thought we knew. Oh wait, this is a remake of the original, so I guess maybe we don't know? Oh God, Peppy. Well, guys, I failed enough today. Tune in next time when I actually beat uh, the first mission. I assume it's the first mission. So tune in next time when I... And I oh, that's funny. I'm sorry. I said the word beat. When I do it. Do it. Well, I'm not going to beat it. It's not going to happen. But when I play it in a way that shows that I played it. Because I'm not going to not gonna beat it. But, I mean, we can try, but it's, it's not going to work. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of Not For Resale. So, second episode, I'll be trying to finish this. Alright, guys, so take care. See ya. Thank you so much for watching. So, again, see ya.